Supply and demand, motherfuckers. I might make that a thing. So in the last video, I was telling you guys about building a brand around what you do and really releasing projects in a way that excites and interests people. And I also touched a little bit without saying it on supply and demand. And I don't think people understand this. And the way I referred to it in the last video was how I said that you thought your answers for the reason that people aren't fucking with your music is to go and make more music. And it's so, it's such a waste of time. You guys think that the work is the music, but it, you know, there's a bit of work that goes into music. Fair, fair play, you know what I mean? You gotta spend some time on that shit. It takes years to get good at it. There's that element of work, but once you've got the fucking music, your answer is not to continue making music until you've got the man for the music you've got already. It's like, in a business world, if we're talking about this as a business, if a business goes out, well, put it this way, we don't even have to say business. We can say, right, you sell, but now you just bought an ounce. You're not gonna buy another fucking ounce if you can't move that ounce. Why the fuck would you go and put yourself further in a hole, further in a financial position where you can't even sell this ounce you just bought? You're clearly not gonna try and buy another one until you've at least sold most of this ounce. And that's what you're doing with music is you, you're just continuing to make music without building the demand for your music. Now you're gonna have to decide, are you going to be a music purist? Or are you gonna be a successful business off this stuff? Because if all you want to do is make music, that's all you're ever gonna be able to do is to keep making music. But if you want to be a business with this shit, you can still make music, but you've got to understand the importance of focusing on the demand and promoting the music that you've already got. And when I say you've got to promote more than you make music, I'm not saying go out there and start posting links everywhere. I mean, promote yourself promote your brand, go out there and create content, go out there and interact with people, build relationships, build a community around what you do. Get in touch with media outlets, put on events in your city, get in touch with big YouTubers and see if they'll use your music. Get in touch with media companies, see if they'll use your music. And these are just a few ideas. What I'm saying is, focusing on just making music is it's not gonna do it for you, bro. And I need to, I wanna shake this camera and pretend it's you and say, bro, if you're in a predicament where even your beats, your music or your beats is not selling, I'm telling you, bro, the answer is not to make another one. That's not the answer. All you're doing is increasing the supply, going back to that example. It's like having that ounce, not being able to sell it and then going buying another ounce. It's the same shit. You gotta work on the demand. That's where the grind is. That's where the work is. That's the hard part. Making music, that's fun. I make beats myself. I enjoy that shit. I'm not sweating over that shit. It's not a grind to me. What really tests me, what really, what really tests me and what my real struggle is, is to build demand. And that's what I work on every day. And that's what the people who sell their music do every day is work on the demand and one more time just before we wrap this video up if you cannot sell or get interest on your music or your beats your answer is not make another track you're just increasing the supply and you're not affecting the demand anyway hope you appreciate this video please tag someone in it or share it with somebody else make sure to like comment subscribe and of course don't get mad get motivated let's go